so hey guys this is with patel and in this video i will tell you how you can post your projects or how you can upload your projects on github as a repository so there are basically two ways to upload your projects on github i will discuss both in this video but before starting the video if you are new to channel please make sure to subscribe to channel and if you find this video helpful then leave a like so let's get start okay so the first way is very simple just go to your github account and then go to your profile and there is a section for repositories so go to there and there is a another option for creating a repository new repository so click on that and you will find this uh, interface so here you have to fill out some information about your repository so first of all you have to give a name for your repository so give it any good name related to your project so i am giving a name tutorial but the tutorial name is already taken because i have already created one repository with this name so i will choose another name so after giving a name there is a option for adding description to your repo but i am skipping it right now because i am going to make this repo private not a public but uh, you can add if you want to add description uh, it is good to add description for your repo so after that you have to select uh, your repo visibility if you want to make it public or if you want to make it private so after choosing a visibility that is an option for adding a readme file adding a git ignore file but uh, i will discuss these things in a later in this video so right now i'm just skipping it and i'm creating a repository so click on create a repository and your repository will be created so as you can see here that our repository is created and our next step is how to upload files and folders on this repository. So you can see that there is an option it says uploading an existing file so just click on that and you will get this interface. So here you have to upload files and projects by dragging and dropping them or you can also upload them by choosing them from your system but right now i'm just uh, dropping my one of one of my project from my desktop so uh, here you can see it's saying that the file is empty but uh, there are some folders and some files on my project so why github is saying that the file is empty because github doesn't allow us to upload the folder which contains so many files and so many folders so now you will ask me that uh, why should you use this method if it does not allow us to upload the entire folder which contains so many files and so many folders so i will tell you one thing that you can use this method for uploading a single project which contains just two or three files or a small project or you can use this method for uploading html css files or you can use uh, use this method to upload a single files so this method is suitable for uploading a small projects so what about big projects uh, which contains so many files so many source files so i'll tell you that uh, we are going to discuss uh, the method uh, which we are going to use uh, for uploading our brick projects on github so this is our first method so let's move on to our second method which allow us to upload the big projects which contains so many files and so many folders so let's check out that method so for the second method we need to download git and install it on our system so for that just go to any browser and search for git or git bash and you will get the first website and click on that and you have to download the git which your version supports your system and after downloading it you have to click on the install uh, run that exe file and while installing select the default settings so it will automatically select path for git and after downloading it let's check uh, if it installed properly or not so just open any command line and enter git and if you get this uh, all this data then your git is downloaded successfully so your next step is uh, open our project with any command line or, or with any terminal so go to your folder and right click on it and open it with git bash if you have installed git bash there will be option for open with git bash or you can also use the vs code i am using vs code because vs code terminal also works for this okay so here we have a repo which is the, our root folder and inside that we have a folder called sample project so that is our main folder so i am going into that folder by entering cd sample project so here we are 
into the our pro folder from where we have to upload all the files and all the folders okay so right now i am opening checking the git again so git is perfectly working so here now we have to create one repository uh, so we can push all the things into that repository so the method is the uh, same uh, as the last time we created a repo for uploading the files for with the drag and drop method so i'm creating one another repo for right now firstly okay so let's create one repo here okay so our repository is created right now and uh, here are the steps given which we have to follow in order to push all the files and folders into this repository so the first command is git init so what does this command do this command actually creates one folder named dot git into the our directory in which we run this command so if i will run this command in sample project so it will create one folder named dot git in the sample project and the folder will be hidden so you have to enable uh, show hidden files into your system so make sure you have done this uh, else you cannot uh, see that folder okay so i have run this command and you can i have run this command and you can see that the all files name are in the green color and you can see the folder here dot git okay so i will delete it now and i will show you live how this uh, folder is created so i will snap left this uh, uh, tab and i will open the vs code in the right side and let's run this command again so let's run git in it and you can see that and you will see that the folder will be created here okay so the, our folder is right there and what does this folder do is this folder will track down all the changes which are happening into your project so if you delete any file if you add any file if you make changes in any file that this folder will track down and you will be committing all the changes into the next commit of your repository okay so this is the uh, work this is the use of dot git folder okay so the next step is okay so you can use git status command for checking the status of your repository so if you use this command and you get the file names in a red color then this file are not added to your repo yet so if you want to add those files then you can add by add a file single by single or you can add all the files at a single time uh, okay so if you want to add any single file then you can use command git add and the file name uh, so i right now i am adding manage.py file so i will use the command git add and the manage.py and i will hit the enter and the manage.py file will be added to my repository and if we want to add all the files at one time then we have to enter the command git add and the dot so the dot will take all the files and add it to the repository at one time okay so i will add my all the files into repository okay so there are basically three stages first is adding second is committing and third is pushing so first you add then you give a commit and then you commit it and after in the last you push all the changes to your repository okay so right now i have added now i will commit okay so there are a command for commit uh, is a git commit minus m or hyphen m and then you will uh, enter your commit name in a inverted double inverted uh, comma so whatever name you want to give to your commit you can give like initial commit first commit your project name whatever you want to give uh, you are free to give a name so right now i'm just giving name first commit or initial commit so just give a name to your commit and if we make any changes in future then we can give it a second commit third commit or uh, we can give a name related to the changes also so it's depend on you whatever name you want to give you can give to it okay so after committing name uh, what we have to do is we have to select the branch okay so if we do not select a branch if you do not give a name to any branch so it will defaultly select the master branch okay so here that is a command uh, for creating a main branch but i am not creating it i am skipping it you can skip that step 
and if you don't create any branch then remember that there is a master branch which is default branch okay so after adding a branch or after skipping it uh, there is a option to add connect to your local dot git folder to the your repository so there is a uh, git remote and add and there is a link okay so copy that whole command and paste it on your terminal and it will connect your local folder to the, your repository so it will help you to, to push all the changes which you have committed till now okay so i will uh, use i will copy this command uh, i will copy that command and paste in my terminal so our repository is connected right now and right now we have to do our last step and now we have to use our last command git push hyphen u origin and uh, our branch is master because we haven't selected any branch so we have to use the name master and uh, i will hit enter and my all the files will be posted to the my repository so let me go to the browser and let me refresh this and you can see that my all the folders and the files are here so i have successfully committed my first commit and i have successfully posted my all the files to my repository okay i have successfully uploaded my files to the github and now i will show you uh, what will happen if i will do some changes to my project okay so let's do it so i am creating one function in views.py file so i am just creating one random function so you can see that there is a capital m written on the right side of the my name of my my file name okay so you can see that there's a capital m uh, at the right side of the views.py so why there is a capital m because it shows that you have made some changes into your project after uh, your last commit okay so whenever you have done your last commit you have made some changes okay so it shows that you have to commit these changes also to your repository so till i will not commit these changes till then it will show there okay so i will show you that how to make changes into your current repository or your existing repository okay so I have created this function and uh, for now I don't have to repeat all the procedure again I just have to use three command for uh, make the make changes into the my current existing repository so, so I have discussed this before there are basically three stages first is adding second is committing and third is pushing so we are following the same three stages here so first we will add our changes to our repo so I will use git add dot and after that I will give an I will commit it so I will give just to give a name second commit because i am doing this change this second time because the first is our original commit and the second is our change okay so i am just giving a name second and after that i will just push it so the push command is very easy git dot push okay so let me go to my uh, repository into my browser and let me check that our changes are happened there or not okay so you can see that there is showing our second commit into the our project and inside that project we have our views dot file so we can see that the changes are done here so this is how you can upload your files and project into the github so here i have shown two methods so whichever you want to use you can use and if you enjoy this video then please make sure to subscribe to channel and like to uh, this video and i will see you in the next video